Welcome back friends to another episode of Lemon Tree Corner Studio Vlog. If you don't know me, my name is Heather and I run a small handmade business called Lemon Tree Corner where I make purses and bags and project bags for makers like you. Welcome, welcome. Um, and if you're coming back, thank you for coming back. As always, I really appreciate everybody who comes and stops by and visits with me. So let's get started. This week in the studio, I'm going to start by caking up or balling up some yarn. This is the leftover yarn that I have. I was hoping to order two more skeins of this, but this is the order that got canceled from Etsy. So I have one skein and one skein only, <laughs> uh, but I found a great hat pattern that I'm going to try. It's a spiral hat. What is it called? I don't have it with me here. <laughs> but it's like a, a spiral hat pattern that looks fairly easy to do. I'll link it down below if you want to do the tutorial. Uh, and it's by a new YouTuber that I found called Fiber Spider. He does some great tutorials. So I'll link that tutorial down below for you. The other thing we're going to do this week is we're going to get back to this Moroccan blanket. This beautiful, beautiful Moroccan blanket that's been really difficult for me to do. <laughs> it's just beyond my skill level at this point. So I think we're finally to the point where we're gonna do a few more rows of the square and then we're gonna start doing little tiles all around. So that'll be fun. I'm two kits behind on this one. I just got the second kit in the mail. So I'm like, eh, we need to get back to this one and leave the easier Christmas stripe one for a future episode. And then the other thing I'm going to be doing this week is just mowing through those uh, Oxford project bags. So I made one last week as a refresher for myself. That's the medium size bag and I really like that size. I like all the features that it has and I have all the all the supplies picked out and everything ready to go. So we're going to get through those. One of those bags I'm going to be making for one of my other YouTubers that I'm a patron of, uh, Cheyenne Barton. I love her videos. She's an artist uh, and she just recently got into crocheting. And she has two black cats. She just got a second black cat. And it's like the perfect fabric for her. <laughs> so I'm going to be making her one of the bags as well. And we're up to 70 subscribers! Yay! I'm so happy! And uh, getting more views on the videos. It's really great to watch the channel grow. If you're not already a subscriber and you've watched more than one video, I would really appreciate it if you'd hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, comment. Anything you do interacting with the channel helps me uh, get in front of other like-minded people like you. So YouTube shares the video with other people who have the same interests as us and we can grow this community together. So I'd really appreciate that. And thinking ahead to 100 subscribers, uh, when we get to 100 subscribers, I'm going to do a giveaway. It's probably going to be one of these project bags I'm working on. So as I'm working on them, I'll think about one that might be a cute one as the giveaway. And then um, I'll do a special video for that once we hit 100 and give you the chance to do the giveaway. So if you're a subscriber, I'll just have you comment anything on that video and you'll be entered for the drawing. Yay! Last week was a bit of a struggle. I had a lot of anxiety going on. Uh, my mom had hip replacement surgery and she had a stroke a few years ago. So just really worried about you have to get off the blood thinner medication to do a surgery and then being under for a surgery. Just a lot of worry and fear surrounding that. So if you can hold her in prayer or send good vibes to her that would be wonderful as she's recovering this week um, trying to get back into being mobile and she's a real trooper so uh, she's just got a lot of work ahead of her but I'm sure it would raise her spirits to know that everybody out here in YouTube land is thinking of her and sending her healing thoughts so thank you very much and I think that's about it we'll get going in the studio. Oh, the, the other thing I'm going to share with you this week, our moment of Zen. I was walking around campus the other day collecting last minute uh, 
tests and mail for people. And I walk through the courtyard of our admissions building. It has a beautiful, it's a very Spanish style campus. So Spanish style architecture and it's got this big courtyard in the middle. And I walk by and I was like, all oh, those flowers are just beautiful. They're all blooming right now. And it was the day before graduation, so like nobody's on campus. So I went to film it. Birds were chirping. It was just beautiful. So I'm out there with my cell phone trying to slowly pan because I pan too fast. Uh, so I'll share that with you. It had just beautiful bird song. And then somebody yelled at me from across the courtyard because they recognized me. And I'm like, hmm, there goes the audio for this video. So I'll put some nice music behind it. But I'll share that with you as well. And let's get cracking. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights. Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground
about the river by my son feet step over splinters of the moon So I've kind of lost my voice and just getting it back. So excuse me if my voice cracks. But we have the new yarn from the new Etsy seller. I'm very excited. We're going to do an un unbagging. Look at all that yarn. It's so pretty. Wow. Okay, so we've got the autumn colorway. If I can get it open. Of course, the air conditioning just turned on too. Ah! Don't snip the yarn, Heather. So these two, I'm hoping are going to work with the other um, shawl that I started. I'll have to see. This is a lot redder than I thought it was going to be. So we'll take a look at that. But this autumn one... Very pretty, look at that. Oranges and purple. That's a really pretty combo. So this is called Goldilocks in Love and it's a DK weight. And the name of the store is Beach Bum Yarn Company. And she's really sweet. Like I said, she um, emailed me several times about the order, kept me up to date, which I really appreciate. Uh, so I highly recommend I'll have to ball that up so here we have the hat that I was working on on the drive down to San Diego I've got a couple more rows to do I really like the pattern but I feel like because I'm the yarn's so busy it's you can't really see the pattern but you see how that kind of um, curves here, it spirals, so it's really pretty, 
And then I'm using a smaller needle size than the pattern, so I think I'm just going to wind up doing more rows. It goes up to f a repeat of four, and then you keep going until you get to the, the size length hat that you want. But I'm um, trying to figure out if I need to do a five or not, but I think it goes over the crown of my head pretty well. So the question was, if these two were going to go together well enough to make the hat out of this and a shawl out of this. Um, I'm not sure. I think they kind of go together, obviously not matching, but I don't think that's a problem. So I'll continue on with this hat, get that done. Let's go get the other one with the shawl and see if that goes at all. Okay. Moment of truth. Let's see what we're doing here. So here we have our shawl. And then I'm going to add this on, which I don't know. I'll have to do a few rows and see if it's going to work. This red might not. I was hoping that this was going to blend in with this, which it does look like it would do. Um, the only problem with where I'm at is that I only had one skein of this yarn and this is the seller who's no longer selling. I can't get any more of this. So what it is is two skeins of this yarn, one skein of this yarn, and then two skeins of whatever I use, which is interesting to have that there. I just don't know if it's really going to work or not. But we'll see. Um, I'll do a few. I'll, I'll ball this up and do a few rows and see where we get to. So that's all good. And at least then I can continue with that project. But I'm really thrilled. Wow. I mean, they're just beautiful. Just beautiful. So this one is called Vampire Hickey, which is hilarious. Hilarious name. So that's uh, DK weight as well. So I think that'll be good. I just really love this fuchsia into purpley blue. Um, and then this just looks like a totally different yarn on the bottom here. It's very interesting. Then it just goes into like a gray, which goes into a blood red. So I'll be interested to see how this works out. And if not, I think I'll just find another another colorway. Um, there were a few other yarn dyers I was looking at on Etsy that had something that might work with that as well. So we'll see. I'm very happy with these. I will definitely I'll definitely use this for something else if I don't use it for the shawl. And due to everything else I've been doing this week, I don't know how much sewing I'm going to get done, so we'll see what happens.
don't even know that I like the look of this. This just looks overdone. Like, I think a simple double stitch would be better here. It looks so nice before I did all of this. I think I'm going to skip the ribbing and just do a couple rows of the doubles. Because, yeah, see, the doubles just look so much cleaner. I'm just going to do a couple rows of doubles. I think there's already, you know, a texture going on here that we don't need to upstage the original texture. Okay, so here we are with our new yarn back to the shawl. So this beautiful yarn is by Beach Bomb Yarn Company. That's the yarn I ordered to see if it would go with the shawl. This is in the colorway Vampire Hickey and it's a DK weight, 100 grams. So trying this out. I've done a couple of rows already. By the way, beautiful, beautiful yarn. Really beautiful. Um, and this is a seller that was really responsive and was excited. Was making it faster than she thought. Getting it to be faster than she thought. Which is complete opposite of the other experience. So, as you can see, it blends in quite nicely. I was worried about this uh, red color here. But um, there's really just a few of the red. It's not, not a ton of red, so that's good. Kind of blends in here with this darker color. Um, and then has some grays. But I think it's transitioning quite nicely. I really won't know for sure until I do a couple more rows. And even then, no, not sure what it's going to look like at the end because I'm going to have two skeins of this, so it'll be two skeins, one skein, two skeins. I don't know what that's going to look like, <laughs> but I guess we won't know till we get there. So let's keep going with this, and I'll catch you when we get to the end, because it doesn't look like I'm getting any bags made this week. <laughs> it's been kind of a rough week for me had this persistent cough, lost my voice, um, you can tell it's a little scratchy, just been trying honey drops, throat drops, um, throat coat tea, all that fun stuff, so haven't really gotten a lot done on this, so we will leave the bags for next week, I do have a four day weekend again, this weekend, celebrating the Juneteenth holiday, so we will be closed. And looking forward to um, spending more time on the bags. I'll have four days in a row to do that. If you're looking for something interesting, entertaining, and educational to celebrate the Juneteenth holiday and learn more about black history, um, we just watched the wonderful Summer of Soul. And I can't, I can't know if that's the actual title or not. But it's the documentary that Questlove put together of the um, Summer Concert Series in 1969 called The Summer of Soul. It took place in Harlem. It's a Harlem, Harlem Summer of Soul uh, festival. Uh, similar to Woodstock, except it was a series of concerts in the parks over different weekends. But just fascinating. I thought it was going to be like the Woodstock documentary that basically just focused on the music. But he did a lot of work on that. I mean, not only to pare down the music acts from a whole summer's worth of stuff. Hey, my clock works again. <laughs> my husband got my cuckoo clock working again. 
So another thing to think about when I'm filming. <laughs> but I'm very happy the cuckoo is back up and cuckooing. Okay, so where was I? So I thought it was just, you know, cutting everything down, picking the best song from each act and really celebrating music, but it also celebrates black history, uh, really explains a lot of the tension that was going on in the um, in 1969 in particular, goes into the Black Panthers, uh, the assassinations of Martin Luther King and Malcolm X, in addition to the Kennedys, um, and really puts a spotlight on that time period in history that unfortunately is very timely right now with everything that's going on with uh, police brutality and shootings and so I was just fascinated with the amount of history and history told first person by people who were there and you really got a feel for the black experience in America during those years and why why tensions were so high and why they're still high today. Um, so it's just a, a wonderful look into that if you're interested in in doing something to celebrate Juneteenth or learn more about uh, black history. So I really enjoyed it. And the musical acts were, of course, amazing. So um, yeah, I highly recommend it. It's a lot of work, and I can see why he got an Oscar for that now that I've seen the whole thing. Uh, just a really great job on his part. And if you can hear me sucking on stuff, um, what I'm sucking on currently, because I'm kind of sick of regular cough drops at this point. Ah. So I get these honeys, they're actually honey filled. Unfortunately, that's not great for my diabetes, but it's better than a sugary cough drop when all I really need is kind of the soothing effect of the honey. So I will stop talking now, because it's starting to hurt. <laughs> we will get back to doing this. Okay, thanks friends for joining me this week. I really appreciate it when you hang out with me and spend time with me. I hope to bring a little brightness and lightness to your day as you watch these videos. So thanks for joining me. I wanted to share a little something where we got. Uh, so here's the hat. Oh, and my hair is now hot pink. <laughs> so we'll see how long that lasts, probably through the whole summer at this point. But here's the hat, turned out really nice. I decided to change the ribbing at the bottom. I really didn't like the way that it was looking. It was just looking too overdone. There's so much going on up here. I just wanted it to be simple. And it's kind of nice because the way I did it, it's kind of curling up and making a little brim there. Um, so here's what it looks like on. It's very cute. It's a little tight. But the fact that I have super short hair, um, it shouldn't really matter. If I was trying to fit a bun under this, it would be a problem. <laughs> but I'm not, so we're not going to worry about it. Um, it looks like it'd be really warm, and it just kind of curls up here, which is perfectly fine for me. I don't know if it's going to match the other yarn, but we can always give it a try and see what happens. So here is the beautiful yarn. Let's see if it'll focus. Focus. There we go. So this is Beach Bum Yarn Company and that I ordered on Etsy. So I got three, yeah, I got three skeins of this to make a scarf with. I think I'm going to make that virus shawl, sorry, shawl. I think I'm going to make that virus shawl that uh, I had seen the pattern for. We'll try that out with this one. And this one's called Goldilocks in Love. And it's a DK Superwash Merino, 100 grams, so 245 yards. So I should be able to make the, uh, the shawl I want to make out of these. So I will be balling these up next week. Um, get started on that. 
And then here's the other one that I got. Let's see if it'll focus, focus. Oh, geez. It doesn't really want to focus. Okay, so there's the other one I got, which is called Vampire Hickey. I love that name. So it really goes into these red, like this blood red down at the bottom and this gray. Um, so that was quite interesting. So, let me take my hand off. <laughs> or took my hand off. Um, so going back to this shawl, I've only done a few rows with that color. I think it's going to work. Let me get my head out of the way, see if that helps. There we go. It's hard to see in this light, but I think it blends in quite nicely. I mean, it's obviously another color, another colorway there, but I think it's going to add some richness. I just don't know about the two skeins, one skein, two skein, like that middle stripe is going to look funny. Um, but we'll just see what happens when I'm done. I'm going to have that problem no matter what yarn I pick. Unless, unless I do it with just one skein of that. Hmm, so it would be a really, really wide stripe and then two smaller stripes. That's, that's an interesting idea. <laughs> so we'll see what happens with that. Uh, next week I will start um, back on the bags. I'm going to move some furniture around. And my husband's on a river trip next week, so I should be able to get a lot of stuff done. Um, and hopefully working from home next week as well. And then I didn't get anywhere on the Moroccan blanket, didn't even look at it, didn't start it. Uh, so I'll have that to work on as well. And like I said earlier, I have four days off in a row, so that's going to be a nice change of pace for me. And sounds like my throat is feeling better. Uh, my voice is coming back, so that's good. And hopefully I will film your intro for the next video. <laughs> I tend to film these back to back because I don't wear makeup. I only wear makeup for you guys. So if I'm putting on makeup to do the outro, I tend to change outfits and film the intro right away uh, at the same time while I'm wearing the same makeup. So the uh, clever among you, the observant among you might have realized that in the past. That, well, the makeup looks exactly the same or you know she sounds exactly the same well that's why boy my neighborhood is loud today <laughs> I have to keep pausing and waiting for loud cars to go by that's the only problem with trying to film in my neighborhood there goes another one if I was to make an outtakes for you it would just be me going oh, the whole time. Just a million clips of me doing that or swearing at the loud cars going by. Oh boy, there's another one. I don't even know if you can hear half of them. Half the time I'm editing this part out, um, I don't hear the cars at all that I obviously heard as I was filming it. And then sometimes I'm just talk, talk, talking over a really loud car going by without realizing it and I can totally hear it when I'm editing. So, kind of damned if you do, damned if you don't in that case. Okay, so that's really the end of this vlog. I will see you next week. We'll be back here, same time, same bat channel. Uh, Saturday, usually at 8 o'clock in the morning, is when I post these. So I'll get this up for you to watch tomorrow. And I hope that you have a wonderful week ahead and everything's going well. Um, my mom is recovering nicely. She's having home physical therapy for her hip replacement, and that seems to all be going well. Um, hoping maybe I can go visit her this weekend. That would be nice just to say hi and give her some encouragement and love. <laughs> so thank you all for sending happy thoughts my mom's way. Uh, really appreciate it, and hope to see you back here next week. Have a great week, everybody. Bye.